in third place in 2012, 84 votes. Congratulations, Betty Stanley. The biggest thing for me was just believing in myself. I never stopped believing in myself. And even when I, it came that I was delisted at the end of 2009, there was not once where I was even thinking about what else can I do besides footy. I, I knew uh, I was good enough and I knew given an opportunity I'd, I'd uh, make a good fist of it. So basically, after getting drafted to Collingwood, um, as a young kid, I probably thought it was going to happen sooner than what it did. You know, with my body at that age, I was a pretty mature kid, so I thought I'd probably you know, play a few games my first year and then gradually build up and become a, a sort of regular player. And then, yeah, reality hit and I was playing VFL footy and even VFL reserves at some stages. Couldn't seem to crack in no matter what I did. And, uh, Guy McKenna was actually the midfield coach at that time and I remember sitting down having a coffee with him asking what I can do and his advice was just you can only control what you can control and, and that is playing good consistent footy so um, that's just what I did and I, I guess um, it, it either wasn't good enough or there was players ahead of me that were doing it better so five games over four years obviously isn't um, the best outcome but I think that's probably um, you know, fueled my fire a little bit and made me hungry and, and really relish this second chance that I've been given. I'm out of the action well and truly. Oop. I'm still king, aren't I? Oh, yes. I suppose early in my career I was probably too serious and, and would worry and think about everything and um, you know, if I made a mistake on the field or even at training, I'd, I'd curse and I'd, I'd be dwelling on that for the rest of the session. So I missed a kick, I'd be like, oh, I can't miss the next one. And I'd tighten up and, and it's, it's no way to be if you want to play you know, at the highest level. You're going to make mistakes and you've just got to get on with it. So um, when there is a time for a bit of a muck around, I'm yeah, the first one to, to put my hand up and have a joke. And I suppose that's the best way to be about your footy and just enjoying it. Oh, bottom corner. That's why he's mocked up. That's why he's mocked up. Love it. He's won the game off his own bat, forward and back. I, I suppose ever since I've come up here, I felt like I belonged in the AFL system. Even when I, it came that I was delisted at the end of 2009, my mum would ask, um, what, do you, what do you want to do now? And I'd be like, mum, I'm, this isn't over. I'm, I'm going to play AFL. You know, he, he understands he, he's not a, a first round draft pick, he, he understands his limitations and he, he works within those and um, you know, I think he's been a very solid player for us. I mean, he's had some top five finishes in our best and fairest. I think he uh, was top uh, five, yeah, third last year uh, and played 13 games. I feel blessed that I've, I've overcome what I did. And, and now I'm out there sort of um, doing what I always wanted to do and I often wonder if I had have played early, you know, eight years of footy, if, if I'd still be as excited and, uh, or if it had become a little bit mundane but you just get that energy um, with all the young boys around you and uh, it just makes you want to go out there and, and keep playing with them and, and keep winning because the feeling you get for a win is, is so good and um, I haven't had many in my career so I'm, I'm still loving every minute of it. Out of mid -air, Stanley! I presume. 